Now today we are going to talk about economics. Economics. Now economics is what? What is economics? Let's hear people who did comments. What is economics? Economics is how well people and organizations use scale resources in a manner that that's efficient and effective. Just a little bit of background on your teaching style and how the students relate to it and how, what, how they benefit from your type of teaching. Right, I think I'm more of an, an interactive teacher, if you would call me that. I'm very engaging and what I do, with, or what I would say makes me different from other um, lecturers is that I try to be up to date with whatever I'm teaching. So every day I update myself on the subject, I research on the subject and I use various sources to teach um, one concept because my belief is that a student needs various um, systems to understand one concept. So that's what I try to integrate in my teaching. And how students receive it, most of them have received it well and some it becomes difficult and it is my job also to lift them up from that frame of reference and change their paradigm because as a lecturer your job is to change um, a student paradigm. They must move them from this view to another view and sometimes it gets difficult. So I bring and incorporate a whole lot of methods and tools to bring it to them, to bring the concept to them to understand it and I bring current issues so that they understand um, what we're doing. See the thought rises as an air bubble rises from the bottom of the sea and as it comes up it becomes bigger and is appreciated on the surface as a bubble. Mm -hmm. Thought rises from the deepest level of the mind and as the bubble of thought rises up it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and then coming up on the conscious thinking level it is appreciated as a thought. I'm a student ambassador, uh, but most of all, I'm a, I'm a teaching coach and facilitator, uh, a senior student. I'm doing my second last year at Oman. So basically, I teach entrepreneurship here at Oman. Anything that has to do with the business in a like limited liability business is for business. <coughs> the business lose money, uh, don't stress. Whether you have a million rents in your account, it's your money. It's not the business money. But if it is unlimited liability, even your wife's account is in trouble. Because the course that you're going to do, or the degree that you're going to do, you start with foundation, it takes two years. In this foundation year, maybe you can wait for maybe two years, you know, just to get it, I mean two months, to get a feel of the school. If you like what you see, then start a business, you already have registered that idea and someone else comes and says then they're gonna tell him that yes, this idea has already been registered. We spoke about regulatory bodies and then we spoke about we defined what regulation and bylaw is. Towards the end of your uh, degree phase, that's when you actually now starting to make money because everyone else knows your business. So what exactly are you registering? Are you registering a company or something else that it is operating within that company? Maharishi University of Management provides you with this, you know, information that you can use in your business. Relevant and accurate information that you can use in your business. It can be very fun, experimented and budget. So economics, we can say, because people have this money, they can spend this, it can be proven. Science must be proven. Science must be experienced. Science must be validated. That is why it becomes a social science study. Right. Now, so Maharishi Institute aims at what Maharishi himself. Maharishi is the founder of what we call the consciousness movement. And the consciousness movement is where we allow the self, the knower, to firstly exhibit the knowledge within before they can exhibit the knowledge outside. So what we do is we address an issue that Maharishi has always said is a missing element in the education system. Knowledge of the knower, knowledge of the self. Before you can become a great R learner, a great one learner, there's something that you knew. 
and we need to give cognizance into them. There's something that you knew as a person, that is knowledge of the know. And most of the time in the education system, we tend to ignore that and feed you with what we think you need to know. So how does business then at Maharishi Institute differ from other institutions? At Maharishi Institute, we try to incorporate the knowledge with the self. We firstly give you what the traditional methods would give you, the traditional methodologies would give you, but we incorporate it to you so that the knowledge does not become so distant. Most often at times we people do not understand the information, not because they do not know the information, because they are unfamiliar with the information. So at this at this institute we try to familiarize yourself with the information so that you and the information become one because when you and the information are one then it's easy for you to understand that because the two of you are integrated that's how we make business easy or business modules easy to a student to comprehend